Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers with your outlook for Monday, August 12th, 2013. And we're starting off with the overview for today, and this is the this afternoon on the European model. A uh, little light uh, shower activity or a thunderstorm, isolated thunderstorm activity is possible across uh, so at least southern portions of our area today. Not really impressed with this uh, trough axis is moving over our area today, but there, we are expecting one to be in place. Uh, move across e eastern PA here, and it's just like a prefrontal pre trough. The arch is actually a cold front that's uh, sitting way back here that's going to be moving in uh, Monday night into Tuesday. And uh, this prefrontal trough it could be the focal point of some showers and thunderstorms developing with the high instability that's going to be in place. Now, the SBC. Uh, it does have a 5% risk for severe weather over this area here. We're not really that impressed with the overall threat tomorrow, uh, either are they, but uh, they did mention that and we just thought we'd point that out. Uh, as far as the NAM model, this is the new NAM that came in to see the, uh, on, uh, excuse me, on Sunday evening and uh, it has the uh, very unimpressive uh, outlook as well here. There's not really much going on here all of Monday. There's uh, maybe just an isolated shower or thunderstorm popping up uh, across the area here. And most of the area is uh, remains clear. So we do have a, a very low chance of a, a isolated shower or thunderstorm for your Monday. As we get into Tuesday, uh, the, taking, stay, sticking with the NAM here, uh, so like we said, uh, overnight Monday night into Tuesday is when we think we're going to get the showers and thunderstorms. And you see that moving across our area here. And then uh, the new NAM is actually trying to move this out before noon on Tuesday. So uh, as, that is a change from some of the other models that have it lingering in the afternoon. So we'll have to see if that uh, does in fact pan out. But this, uh, this basically is a cold front that's moving across uh, the area. And uh, the cold front is actually sitting back here at this point here on Tuesday morning and pushing off to the southeast. And unlike previous cold fronts that have come through the area very slowly or even stalled, this one's going to kick uh, straight on throughout here, straight on out here. And uh, that's because there's a very strong high pressure here that's poised to move in behind it. That's giving a kick to the cold front and pushing it further east faster. So uh, we don't expect this to hang around on Tuesday. And uh, if the NAM's correct, it might be out of here even faster and be out of here. It might just be a morning threat. Uh, the European model here has it for the afternoon as well. And I was looking right into the evening before it finally clears out. Uh, but you see that behind it, there's absolutely nothing here for Wednesday as this clears out. And nothing really for the rest of the week. Now, uh, there's a couple different uh, models uh that are in disagreement for the weekend here. And I'm going to show you something that's going to be, uh, the, first of all, the system down here is trying to develop a lower low pressure down here around the Carolinas, and it's going to try to move it northeastward. Now, the European model holds off on this uh, development, and, um, you know, this is, sun this is Sunday afternoon here. And then as you go into Monday, we finally, the low pressure is finally far north northward. It affects our, us in the Monday, Tuesday time frame of next week. Uh, the uh, Another look at another model here, the GFS, uh, this is pretty much doing the same thing as we get into next week. The area low pressure is actually developing further south here uh, along the Carolinas. And I'll, I'll just draw this for you here. But the area low pressure right here, and you have a high pressure that's sitting offshore here. Now, if this were the case, uh, we'd have uh, winds around the high pressure like this, low pressures around here like this. And you see what's happening here. You have a southeast wind or an east wind that's going to develop. And that could, uh, at the very least, make it a mostly cloudy weekend next weekend across at least the eastern portions of our coverage area here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Right now we have partly cloudy for most of the area, but uh, this is subject to change. It is uh, at the end of our forecast uh, period time frame that we uh, that we usually like to stay within 120 hours for the uh, as far as accuracy goes. But next weekend is up in the air right now whether or not we're going to see a cloud-dominated weekend uh, with perhaps even some precipitation getting in here earlier by Sunday uh, or if it just uh, remains these features remain far enough apart that uh, we don't have that onshore flow and we don't have the uh, clouds and it remains partly cloudy. So we'll take a look at that as we get further uh, into the week and get closer. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchish and that is your outlook for Monday, August 12, 2013. Have a great day.